Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Today is Sunday, November 3rd, 2024. There was two earthquakes late last night along the New Madrid Fault Zone. Here you can see we got the uh, Cottonwood Fault and the Grove Fault. And this location is probably re re um, responsible for those devastating earthquakes um, in 1811 and 1812. Yeah, we got two, a 3.7 and a 2.4. Looking at Google Earth, yeah, you can see the different blowholes from the 1811-1812 earthquake and probably see a fault running through here by the discoloration. Let me bring this in. Yeah, these are areas here of um, old blowholes that occurred during that, yeah, devastating earthquake back in 1811 and 1812. The magnitude 3.7 occurred at 10.44 p.m. local time with a depth of 6.5 miles or 10.5 kilometers. 717 people said they felt this earthquake. USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. More than likely a thrust earthquake. You can see how pressure or, or the first wave, excuse me, the first wave of the earthquake came from the uh, northeast a little bit, and tension is applied uh, going south. So, are you one of those that felt this earthquake? It was given an intensity level 5. Please give us your reports about how long it lasted. What did the motion feel like? Was there any indication by your pets or anything else that an earthquake was coming? Intensity level 5 means it was felt by most people. They had some breakage, maybe windows, plasters in the wall, foundation, disturbance of tall objects. Things might have been thrown out of cupboards. What kind of damage did you have? And are you earthquake prepared for another large devastating earthquake? Here you can see it was felt over a very wide area. Let me bring this out again. Um, all the way up towards Glenwood, intensity level 2. Yeah, um, is that Kansas? That might be Kansas or Nebraska. I'm not quite sure by looking at this map. Uh, let's see here. Anyways, then we got one up here in Illinois, intensity level 5. Wow. Um, many of you know who follow me that the New Madrid fault system is located along a failed rift system, which was going to divide up the United States eons ago. The fault loops up around uh, the lakes, the Great Lakes, Lake Michigan, uh, Lake Huron, Lake Erie, and goes you know on up through there. Let's see, as far south as Jasper, I believe that's Alabama, and then Arkansas, um, Stugart, probably pronouncing it wrong. But I noticed up over here, you know, green is, the darker green is the larger intensity. Um, Pomona, wow, intensity level five, three reports from there. They got damage. What kind of damage do you have there in Pomona? Closer to the earthquake, we got um, Hornersville. Two reports from there. They got damage. Um, Blytheville, 20, oh, 37 reports there. What kind of damage do you have? Going back to Google Earth, let's bring this out so you can see this fault zone. Yeah, the uh, Cottonwood and Grove Fault Zone. Um, December 16th. See, that's close to this location. Um, that was an aftershock of a 7.0. Yeah, and then I got some more. Let's see, December 16th, 1811. Um, an 8.6. And I'm sure I got more on here. Let's see. December 16th, an 8.0. And then 1812, 
an 8.4. Like I said, it's they were probably caused by the movement of this fault zone. Um, the 2.1, which was an aftershock, probably an adjustment of the fault. Like I said, it was a thrust fault, which means one side rose up because of pressure. The other side stayed stationary. Yeah, during the 1811-1812 earthquake, large fissures opened up. And there's a story about Daniel Boone chasing a bear into one of the um, fissures. Also, too, people used to uh, um, fell trees. Maybe there were trees that did fall during that earthquake. And use them, used them to uh, get across the different fissures. These earthquakes are an indication that pressure has built. Any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. And as we know, because of the Earth's magnetic field getting weaker and weaker, ancient faults are now being reactivated. We're having a lot of earthquakes in diverse places, aren't we? A few minutes after the 3.7, there was... A 2.1 that was at 10:57 uh, p.m. local time. Ten people said they felt it. USGS gave it an intensity level of three, which means it was felt noticeably indoors. Um, not always recognized as an earthquake. Standing autos rocked slightly. Vibration people reported like a passing truck. Maybe here's the report. Locations sent into USGS. There was no report sent into EMSC, the European Seismological uh, Group. Um, they didn't even have it listed. But it looks like the farthest south. I have no name here. No name. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we got? Treasure Island, right on the border with Tennessee, it looks like. Okay, let me bring this back out. As far east, uh, still no name. Oh, I hate that. Inadequate. Yep, inadequate. Uh, let's see, again, no name. No name. You can see the New Madrid fault zone that was draw, drawn out. Um, the New Madrid fault zone was named after the city, which is up here by this little bend. Can you see that? I'll zoom in a little bit. Let's see. And we got intensity level 3. Very, dis very disappointing that they don't list the names of the towns. Let's see. So in the last month, there's been 12 earthquakes located in this location. Down over here is the more recent ones. As I move the map, yeah, it changes because it cuts off the other earthquakes. But let's bring this down. And so we got the 2.1, 3.7, uh, 5.2 miles in depth, 6.5, um, a 1.7. 4.5 miles in depth. Hayward, Missouri, a 1.2. Marston, Missouri, a 1.7 up there by New Madrid. A 2.0, 2.8. Looks like they're all about um, oh, 4 to 6 miles. But this one here is shallower. That's a 1.8. 3.7 miles in depth. Um... That was on October 8th. Let's see, a 1.8, uh, 2.0, and a 2.3. That's what we got for the last month. I hope you're earthquake prepared. If there is a large earthquake, you'd be cut off from emergency supplies, emergency responders, uh, food, water. Yeah, if you're on a well, that would be stirred up for... Oh, a few days to a couple weeks. But if it was large, it'd be lots of aftershocks. Um, I know about wells and being stirred up. And this is why you should have extra food and, and water. 
you can only go about three days without water. And then you think about sanitation. Yeah, I did a video about different locations that people might not think about uh, to access water. One prepper had a really good idea that I didn't think about. They fill up their washing machine uh, with water and keep it that way until they need to do laundry so that they would have the washing machine as an extra source of water if there was some sort of disaster where you didn't have water. Then, of course, you have the hot water heater. You got your bathtub. If you got some kind of notice that you might not have access to water, you can fill all those things up. Please like, please share, please comment. Yeah, we enjoy reading your comments here. Thank you very much for watching. Always be prepared. You just don't know, especially with two days until the election. Gosh, I'll be glad when the election is over. We had early elections um, where you can go in about a month ago. So my daughter and I both voted, and that was before she came down with meningitis. And myself, I think that the election probably, more than likely, uh, maybe an 80 to 90% chance that it's not going to be a fair election. I pray that it will. A little side note, um, a lot of people believe that we are in the end times. If and when, you know, that does happen, when Satan shows up pretending to be Jesus, all the politicians that are going to be in office are actually controlled by Satan. So whoever is the president during that time, boy, I certainly hope it's, um, yeah, not one of our favorite running candidates. But if this is the um, end times, and when Satan does show up, It'll probably be in May of whatever year, but there's a lot of things that have to happen before then. Yeah, the temple has to be destroyed once again. Well, that's possible with all the missiles that are being shot back and forth between Israel and Iran and Hamas. But that's one thing that has to happen before Satan shows up. And like I said, when Satan does show up, all the politicians are going to be controlled by Satan. Just something to think about. Yeah, not good. Anyways, yeah, I ramble. So, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. I really would like to know if you felt these two earthquakes. And what kind of damage did you have? Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.